Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz, business coach for women of color. And in today's video, we're gonna get down to the basics because it is understanding these marketing basics that will literally save your business no matter what stage of your business journey you're on, but especially they will save you at the beginning. We're going to understand the concept of the marketing funnel, what it means, what it looks like, and we're gonna talk about how you can develop a plan so that you can make sure that you're intentionally helping complete strangers move from complete strangers to buying clients. Let's get started. First, let's actually examine what a funnel is and its actual shape, because that is what will help guide our discussion today. So when we're thinking about a funnel, literally it's a shape that is wide at the top and then starts to get a little bit more narrower as it goes further and further down. Funnel. <laughs> so the top portion is the widest part of your marketing funnel. And this is where complete strangers first come into contact with you and your services. This is the very most entry point of people deciding if they like you, want anything to do with you, and eventually want to start buying from you. So at this point, literally, all that's happening is the content that you are already creating to help build exposure to your business. A complete stranger will come into contact with it and they will self-select either in to keep getting more of your content or out because they're just not interested. For any number of reasons. It could just be that they're not at all interested in the services that you're providing, or they just might not be too interested in you. And that's okay. Most people, most of them will actually choose to opt out. And we want that because you don't want to be serving anyone and everybody because you naturally just aren't for anyone and everybody. And if you try to adapt yourself to anyone, then you're basically creating another nine to five situation where you're forcing yourself to have to hide and adapt in order to meet the needs of the people that you're forced to work with in an organization. You don't want that. That's not why you started your business. So the best way that you can help people to self-select out is one, by being you, just being you, your authentic self in your content because you want to attract the people who are into you and just how you are. And two, you wanna be upfront about the fact that you are offering a service so that people know that they can get help from you. Now, there is some thought that you really don't need to worry about this most top of funnel entry point into your business and trying to facilitate building that relationship with complete strangers because you can just work off of referrals and referrals can just create this endless stream of clients wanting to come work with you by basically being introduced to your services by previous clients that you have worked with. And yes, that does 100% have a place in your overall marketing ecosystem However, you don't want to be dependent on this either because if you are dependent on what we'll call anchor clients, for instance, that also inadvertently creates another nine to five situation where you become very much dependent on that particular client. And then you're going to find it much harder to be able to do things like maintain boundaries, be able to stay true to your business vision because you'll be trying to adapt to these particular clients in order to maintain them because you see them as the only way that you can bring business in. You don't want that either. We wanna create businesses that are truly liberated, which means you help people by being you, doing the best you can with your service, and if people choose to opt out, they can, and it doesn't mean that your business goes up in flames. So that's top of funnel. Now let's talk about that middle funnel area. This is where potential clients have moved from that cold lead status to now that warm lead status. This is where people continue to self-select into your content and they continue to digest it, either by reading it, watching it, listening to it, whatever. This is where they continue to learn about you and about your service. They continue to get helpful content from you. They continue to self-select into what you are offering as you continue to provide that consistent content. 
This is how the relationships are built. This is how people continue to learn about you, digest it, and understand if what you have to offer is actually something that they really need and are really looking to buy. This process can take time, and that's okay because relationships take time. And there's some schools of thought where there's this idea that you need to find the right messaging or say the right things in order to trigger people to buy. And that's really an illusion, especially if you are just starting out, still struggling to hit your first 10K in your business. At this point, you don't really know that much about what people need exactly from you because you haven't interacted with enough of them. So how could you possibly know the exact right words to say? And you honestly will never know. <laughs> You'll just start to tweak it a little and fine tune it more with time. But in order to get that time and that level of exposure, you have to just offer what it is that you can and then let the people come. So at this point, you're really just being you in your content and also providing anything of value. And when I say a value, I literally just mean anything that can be seen helpful in any way, shape or form to potential clients. So as you offer anything that could possibly be helpful and always end with an offer at the end of your content for your services, you will then start to see the people come to you. And then as they come to you and you listen to their needs, you'll start to see what it is that they're really struggling with. And then that is when you can start to fine tune your messaging. But in the very beginning, when you're just trying to get your first 10K, trying to wait until you can find those exact right words to say to trigger someone to buy is gonna be like trying to search for a needle in a haystack. That in and of itself is going to waste time because all that time waiting could be spent actually putting out content so that people can come and help you create the messaging that you want to create. Now, as people start moving through your marketing ecosystem, learning and digesting from you and learning that if you're a good fit and if your services can really help them with their problems, they then start to self-select themselves deeper into this funnel where they then become what's called hot leads. These are people who at the bottom of the funnel are basically ready to buy. And so they book a sales call with you. If you're a service provider who is offering a service, I highly recommend sales calls because it is a great way to make sure that the clients that you're about to work with are actually a good fit, that you're a good fit for each other. They wanna make sure that you're still a good fit. You wanna make sure that they're a good fit. It's very much like a job interview in this way where the content that you have produced is basically your resume. It's your portfolio of what you, what you can offer and what you believe and how you approach the work that you do and how you can help them. And so that basically gets you the job. But then the interview is that final step where you just make sure that it really is a good cultural fit for you. So during this sales call, a big portion of this is one, listening to make sure that you're truly understanding what it is that your potential client wants and needs. And two, making sure that whatever you recommend as a course of action, you're doing it with confidence. That's huge because you can literally know your stuff in and out, but if you're not actually confident about how you can help this person, then it doesn't really matter what you're saying. The confidence will be something that will make you feel comfortable. And when you feel comfortable, the other person will feel comfortable and confident that you can help them as well. One of the misconceptions is that you have to use sleazy sales tactics during the sales call in order to make sure that someone buys with you. But in actuality, you don't actually need to do that. The biggest thing you need to do is actually just do deep, active listening to really make sure that you're understanding what it is that the client wants and then able to recommend a way that you can help them. Remember, You've already gotten the interview, so you basically have the job. Relax and just be yourself. And if the client's not ready or if it's not a good fit at this time, it's perfectly okay because you already have a process in place for bringing more strangers to you. You don't need to worry because you can just wait for the next one. So there you have it. To sum it all up, you wanna make sure that you are intentionally planning for each phase of a client getting from stranger all the way to actually deciding to work with you and actually paying you money for your services. That means they're moving through this funnel. 
That means that you are creating authentic content and offering value by just being helpful. This helps complete strangers opt out or opt in to what it is that you're offering. And then as you keep doing that same exact process, they then continue to digest what you're providing, learn how you can help them, and they continue to self-select themselves into this, this relationship building. And then when they're finally ready to hop on that sales call with you to have that discussion, your only job is to make sure that you are focused on listening, listening more than you speak, and then confidently recommending a way that you can help them. That's it. That's all you got to do. But you want to make sure that you actually have an intentional plan for how you want to address these different phases. Because if you don't have an actual plan, preferably something that's actually written down, then you're not going to be able to evaluate. And if you can't evaluate, then you're not going to be able to tweak and make changes and adjust as you go in order to hit your income goals. It's just going to feel like nothing is working because in your head, It'll feel like nothing's working because you're not actually evaluating to see what is and what is not working. So if you are still having trouble either creating this plan or even just following through on the plan that you already have, I can help you in one-on-one coaching. Spots are open right now. You can use the link in the description box below to book an interest call. We'll chat and see if it's a good fit. Also, make sure you're following me on either social media or you can also join my email list using the links below in the description as well. And if you're not quite sure if you're missing an opportunity to be actively listening and deeply listening to potential clients on those sales calls in order to make sure that you're increasing your chances of them wanting to work with you and helping yourself be confident in that process as well, make sure you check out this next video to see what steps you might be missing out on. See you there.